Centerview data funnels link your data to the tables and quarter images that display the data within your dashboard. Centerview can connect to practically any data source, including a database, spreadsheet, text file, HTML table on a web page, Business Objects Universe, or Salesforce.com. A helpful wizard guides you through the process of connecting to your data. This tutorial will teach you how to connect to a Business Objects Universe. Create a data funnel by clicking on the Data Funnel button on the toolbar. Give your data funnel a name. Since we want to use the wizard to create this data funnel, we can click Next. Business Objects Data Funnels let you link your data from your Business Objects Universe into your dashboard. Select In a Business Objects Universe and click Next. You can either create and use a Centerview alias, or you can enter the connection settings directly into the wizard. An alias stores the connection information so that it can be easily reused for other data funnels or dashboards, even by other people in your organization. For this tutorial, we will use an alias. If you have already created an alias for your Business Objects Universe, you can simply select it from the drop-down list and click Next. But we have not yet created an alias, so we will click the button to the right of the drop-down. To create the alias, we will click New to create a new alias, enter the alias name, let's name this alias eFashion, enter the CMS server name, enter the username, enter the password, select the authentication type, click the test button to test your connection, save your changes and then close. You have now created a business objects alias. In the future you can simply use this alias without needing to specify the connection settings. The alias you just created is selected by default so you can simply click next. At this point, we can either create a query or run a web intelligence report. We're creating a query, so we just need to select the eFashion Universe and click Next. The Select Your Query Parameters Wizard page allows you to build your business objects query for the selected universe. The interface for building a query against the business objects universe is similar to the business objects web intelligence interface. You can access dimensions, measures, details, and predefined conditions. If your query requires, you can choose a query context for your query. The result objects are the data that will be included in your data funnel. If you are familiar with SQL, the result objects are similar to the select portion of the SQL. To include a result object in the query, simply select the object from the tree and then drag it onto the result objects panel area and drop it. Let's include the store name dimension and the sales revenue measure. Now you can check how well the business objects query is coming along by pressing the preview query button. Note that 13 rows have been selected so far. The query filters will filter or reduce what data will be included in the data funnel. If you are familiar with SQL, the query filters are similar to the WHERE clause of SQL. To filter the query, drag objects from the tree on the left into the query filters pane just like with the result objects in the previous section. In this tutorial, we will filter the query to only include stores that are in certain states. To do this, drag the state object from within the store folder and drop it on the query filters pane. Let's select only those stores that are in the state of Texas. To do this, simply drop down the list and select Texas. Now, when you press the preview query button, you will see that there are now only four rows, all from the state of Texas. You can change the state filter to include stores that are in several states by changing the comparison from equal to to in list. Click on the equal to comparison to show the drop down menu of choices and then select in list. Now click on the ellipse button to show the select dialog. You can easily add the state of California to the query filter by selecting California in the Available Values column on the left side, and then click the Add button. Then dismiss the dialog by clicking OK. Clicking Preview Query will show that the data result now also includes two additional stores in California. To finish this data funnel, click Next to show the Are You Done wizard page. A preview of the data funnel will be shown. Click Finish to save the Business Objects Data Funnel. 
You can now easily connect your data to a graph. Replace the graph's data funnel with your new data funnel. See how your data comes to life. Centerview can easily connect to your business objects universe so that you can begin visualizing your data in a matter of minutes.